Hey, hi friend. Uh, my name is Chandramani and today uh, we will discuss about Active Directory Migration Part 4. I think we have did uh, three videos and we have completed it. And uh, let's, uh, be before start this, you know, Part 4, uh, let's uh, flashback like we need to discuss about, you know, what we did here. So if you look at my screen, uh, so these are things we have performed like we have created, you know, uh, source domain controller as well as the target domain controller we have configured entire things as well as the we have created trust forest trust relationship between to the domain uh, that has been completed now our part is uh, to uh, th this member server server need to be joined and source domain that we need to perform i have make out some point here that we will need to perform on today I mean in this video these are the some points let's start from join the members over to the source domain and create some group like global group universal group on the source domain so it will help us to migrate right different group groups the kind of groups we can you know migrate uh, to, from source to target so that's the reason we will create some uh, you know a test group and global group and universal group and create the service account for the sql uh, that means see in member server we will create uh, we will install the sql server right and this server will be a service account and for the, to installing the uh, sql we require the account right one domain account because uh, usually what happen uh, if you install in the work group server definitely you need to use in some some application might be used in the uh, system account right but now it will use the domain user account uh, so that's the reason we will create uh, one user here in source domain and that will perform as a service account okay and that will use an sql uh, sql while installing the sql okay and then uh, we will create some 4000 or 5000 or 2000 users but let for for this uh, for my lab i need to, i will create 4000 users in source domain uh, for you know to migrating you know from source to domain that's uh, we required 4000 users so i created but anyways you can create like 2000 3000 as per your requirement no problem and uh, we need to install the sql express uh, 2012 in member server and then uh, so let's let's start step by step but guys uh, you know before start these things i i just remember you like do not forget to subscribe my channel now just for just subscribe my channel and there is uh, you know beside the subscribe button there is a, uh, no, a bell button is there just click over there so you will get automatically notification when i will be uploading a new videos so do not forget it is not you are not going to pay any single rupee also here to subscribe so that's what please subscribe and please give the like comments everything and one more thing like uh, you know during this video what uh, like uh, what i explained here you know what i did also if you have any comments any doubts any questions you can put in comment box so definitely i will reply it might be a let but definitely i will reply so thanks thanks for watching this video and uh, we will start now uh, from where we left okay let's go to the my lab uh, yeah if you remember uh, these are the three things right source domain target domain as well as the uh, source the member of source domain let's go i have uh, given the name it's member one let's join to the domain domain as a source for that you have to be type okay oh i'm sorry to mine.com oh i did wrong here yet i typed wrong okay that's fine now just click over here uh, it asking the username password of the source domain which we have rights so, okay I can give my username password local administrator okay yeah it's now join it give message welcome to the source domain dot com domain that's fine for me okay and close restart now okay it is restarting yeah that's good 
and now we will go to let it uh, restart so before that what I will do here uh, we will create some user uh, to migrate this is the source domain controller and here you know we can create some uh, like OU might be a new organizational unit I can create like uh, test OU okay this is organization unit and here I will create some users like uh, for SQL I need to create service account here new users I will give name uh, like uh, um, SQL uh, underscore SVC uh, it's fine same thing like Oh, I'm sorry. SQL underscore SVC. That's fine. Service account password should not be changed because we will use it in SQL. That's the reason it should not be changed and user should not be changed the password also. And uh, keep the password here. Okay. So this will remember guys the service account will be used for SQL and uh, it is very important you understand see user migration is a different thing a service account migration is a different thing that is very important point here uh, you need to clear understand about the service account migration also okay so my service account has been created and uh, what I will do here I will create uh, one more SQL admin account here new users and I can write here like SQL admin uh, okay SQL admin that's fine okay let me uh, do one thing okay SQL admin okay that's fine let's copy it paste here do the next and get the password okay that's fine this account can be you know you can uh, check check mark here like user must change password next login that's not a problem because it's a like SQL admin account not a service account but uh, as a, it's a test and moment I don't want to be do these things even you also no need to do this kind of things you just uh, mark in uh, password never expire as well as the user cannot change password okay that's fine uh, so I can create one more like SQL admin uh, account also so if I get problem in this account I know there should be a backup account needed so I will copy this account again and I will give the different name here like uh, uh, B uh, underscore it means backup underscore SQL admin is it fine yeah uh, and here I will paste it here and do the next correct and I will give username password sorry password okay and same thing finish so uh, remember one thing service account it can be possible uh, it, it, it can it, it will be okay if it is domain user not an issue for me but for the SQL admin you have to be the member of you know uh, domain admin also but it is the member of by default domain user you can make it domain admin okay that's fine uh, let's check mark and okay and okay and do same for the backup admin also backup SQL admin and you can put it like domain admin okay that's fine okay and okay so now for the SQL installation my service account is ready my uh, SQL admin account is ready like for the backup and like uh, primary SQL admin oh I did wrong here I think if you like uh, I put it like your a admin right it's wrongly I have typed here okay uh, I can oh sorry for this mistake okay 
I just copy it and take it here also and apply and for the account profile I will same thing do it here that's fine okay just refresh it oh, it is not changing okay yeah that's fine now it's changed okay oh it's okay and uh, now we will go to the members over here and check it is restarted yes it has been restarted and what I will do here we can log in with the uh, domain not domain account we will log in here with the uh, local administrator account okay even though we have joined and uh, source domain but we will install the SQL uh, application here that's the reason I log in with the local account and uh, while installing the SQL uh, application there we will put uh, you know our whatever the user account create for the SQL admin that will put it uh, while installing the SQL okay that will be fine okay let's it install I think the is the VM but tool uh, it's not installed in here that's the reason uh, the screen resolution is not uh, yeah it started let's see whether it is installed or not yeah uh, go to this this PC and here uh, you can install yeah it is started the installation the, the screen is you know the resolution is not proper because the VM uh, VM but tool is not installed yet so remember guys so every machine should have the VM but tool so to get all this you know uh, resembleness I mean uh, compatibility with your base base machine you know uh, like it required the VM tool to compatibility all the sources you, you you going to use from the base machine right so VM tool is required let it once it install it will restart that's fine let it restart okay uh, let's go source domain yeah we have created these things also and uh, let's go to the target domain also sure oh I'm sorry let's go to the source domain and we need to create the uh, like uh, uh, 4,000 4, users that's fine okay so what I will do here let's uh, I have a note here okay like uh, if it is a source and then uh, I can like a uh, uh, source that's fine I put a new accuser okay it's fine s user it's a source user you can understand right or uh, it's fine s user uh, it's 4000 that's fine and numbered add user uh, for each subjects new yeah, that's fine everything is perfect and I given the password here just copy look at this command I will use to create the 4000 users in PowerShell so go to here uh, source domain okay just open the powershell command here okay Uh, I'm not uh, what I will do here let's uh, do this thing uh, go to the many settings here it should be copy I don't know why it is not happen anyway I can s enable the you know folder I can do the mapping here my which folder I need to map it's like always active director migrations tool that's fine and go to the next hmm. okay next okay so what I would do here I will open my uh, sharing folder here 
yeah yeah it is mapped now I will go to here and I have a documents here so what I will do here I can copy this entire things okay it is fine I have copied it here and uh, I will make a notepad to copy and check whether it is perfect or not I will create here 4000 users and uh, I will uh, it's a S user so now what I will do here I'll copy and paste let's enter it yeah so uh, just go to the user and computers let's refresh it yeah it started the creating so definitely it will take time to create 4000 users but my window will contain a 2000 users I mean at a time you can see the 2000 users not more than that for the if you want to see all the 4000 users once created you need to use the filter okay that's fine let uh, refresh again yeah yeah it started and it is creating it will take time to create uh, till the time we know we don't do no need to wait here to see whether it is created definitely it will create and uh, uh, let's let's go to the members to mine yeah it has restart I think installed do the next next install and uh, yeah uh, so what I will then the next video or uh, uh, we will you know install the SQL uh, uh, application on the member server and uh, we will use the service account you know member server and other part of the this series also we will do the next video okay thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel and uh, like comments anything anything you want to give thanks for watching this video but I need more subscribe more like please do not forget so thanks for watching the video uh, we will see you on the next video and let's repress again I think yeah it has created see it is creating again but still it is not completed it will take some time because 4000 user right so it will definitely will take time okay uh, so thank you thank you for watching this video